Hi guys, it's me, Jimmy again. Here's the good news with the bad news. The good news is Intel i7 6700K or commonly it called as i7 6700K processor is coming which will be based on a new architecture from Intel which is called Skylake. Indeed, I'm really excited for it but the sad news is that it only going to be a 4 core processor. Intel, are you kidding with me? First you release the Broadwell, uh, what is called Broadwell i7 5820K processor which is a 6 core processor I mean which only costs you around how much around? around 400 US dollar with a 6 core I mean 12 thread now for the next gen processor you are only I mean basically Intel Skylake i7 6700K is a successor to Broadwell e i7 5820K but you have decreased 2 core Intel are you really kidding with me so anyway Intel i7 6700K will be using the DDR4 RAM that is a good thing but it have only 4 core with 4 8 megabyte per L3 cache so it means 2 megabyte per core where the Intel i7 5520k is having 15 megabyte of L3 cache if you don't know L3 cache L3 cache is the most important thing in the CPU is the faster than L3 cache stands for SRAM basically it's freaking fast it's so freaking fast that it's freaking hard to afford that's why the CPU manufacturer use in a megabyte like 1 megabyte 2 megabyte of its RAM on its CPU so I mean 8 megabyte compared to the 15 megabyte I mean there's no different I mean basically I mean no different with, uh, with the old like i7 4790k using that 8 megabyte and then I mean the only difference is that it's having that you have basically I mean deducts I mean around 7 megabyte of RAM and giving us 8 megabyte anyways it will be having a new socket which is called LG1151 or LG1151 LGA which stands for land grid array so it will be a land grid array I mean it's a good thing so it will be using a new socket specially designed for the sky lag processor and then above or this Intel i7 67 this is okay will be unlocked so you can overclock the hell out of it it's having a base clock speed of 4 gigahertz with a turbo clock speed of 4.2 gigahertz are you excited for it indeed i'm not excited for it 4 core 8 thread with 8 megabyte of l3 cache ddr4 sport who the hell really care? i'm really only excited for the amd zen zen mean life let's see how much life this zen upcoming amd x86 cpu can give to amd to be honest with you i'm really very disappointed with intel i mean they're launching a 4 core processor in 2015 4 core where AMD is planning to launch a 20 core processor that is the dilemma of today only the good thing about this Skylake processor is based on 40 nanometer let's see how long the Morse law can go on one day Morse law I, my personal opinion is that Morse law will break I mean uh, below uh, 5 nanometer you can't make any processor below 5 nanometer I mean so I think there's two or three gen more intel can screw the i mean basically take out the money on a processor or they have to look into quantum computing or quantum processor they have to look into that stuff or they have to come with a dual processor i mean if you don't know windows can support dual processor i mean you can buy two processor and put into a motherboard but i think it's a professional edition and the business and ultimate edition support not the home premium or the normal like the home user versus sport anyway it's me jimmy again subscribe to my channel it's me jimmy bye bye